I am Leanne and you are watching Hip Hop TV. We are at the Annandale Hotel for the launch of M Phase's debut album, Good Gracious. Guys, tonight is going to be massive. We have some of the special guests featured on his tracks here tonight to help him out. These guys include Draft, Dielectrics, Solo, Spit Syndicate, Illy, Muff, Mantra, Nine High and Thirteenth Sun. So stick around guys because we'll be talking to them soon. I'ma take it over. I fucking get it, body solo. That's why I gotta come through and take this whole shit. I came over, like cruising through a place with my friends over. Yeah, this is how we get it. It's so good, man. I'm here in the party scene, so you never gonna see this rapper fail. When I'm walking out in Sydney City, keeping it at a go. We smoking the seeds and we get it, so run it. Put your hands up now, one to the hundred. But Sydney, that's a male world represent. People look at me and say, where you from? Hi, this is Karen from Hip Hop TV, and next to me is Dielectrics. What up, everybody? It's Dielectrics here, rocking out in Sydney for the M Phases launch. What's up everybody? You're watching Hip Hop TV. I'm Dielectrics and I'm out to support my main man M Phases. What up? What up? I'm 13 Sun, repping the basic equipment crew from Sydney and you're watching Hip Hop TV. Yo, what's up? This is Illy at the M Phases Sydney launch and you're watching Hip Hop TV. Pow! Okay, here we are with the man M Phases. How are you? I'm good. How you doing? Good. Sorry. Massive album launch. You've got some of the biggest names in Aussie Hip Hop. Yep. Yep. You got a sellout show downstairs. How do you feel? Feel great. You know, the tour has been really good, and um, it's great to have the support of the major cities. Like Melbourne was a sellout, um, and it looks like Sydney is going to be the same. So you know, I'm real happy with it. Real yeah. happy with it. Yeah. And tell us about a bit about the process. It took two years. It, it's sort well of, worth the wait. Yeah, man, it, say. it, it well sort of took two years. You know, the first year was sort of finding yep. what direction I was going to take, and um, I went overseas for a bit. But the, the second year was this. You know. The main bulk of the work. Yeah. So, um, but it was, you know, it was a long process from the when I first initially started, or even just had the idea to when it was finished. It was a long. Uh, I don't like to say it, but it was a tedious process. But not. Any creative. Not in a bad processes. way. Exactly. Yeah, I'm a okay. perfectionist, so it was. Um, it was well, with any creative process, I guess 
there are things that pop up that are unexpected and mm. you think at the time they're mistakes. Yeah. yeah but yeah, sometimes yeah. turn around to be some of the best things. Yeah. And a perfect example of that is the track you did with Phrase. Mm. Yeah. The exactly. voice distortion. Yeah. Tell us about what happened there. Um basically uh you know I made the track Harley liked it, Phrase liked it, sorry. Yeah. Um and I actually went to his old joint to record and uh Jade, you know, his, his fiance Jade McCray, her dad lent them, uh, gave them or lent them this old ribbon mic, which is a, like yeah. an old European sort of microphone or something. And I don't know what it was, but we had this distortion in the vocals and it, um, you know, any other time it would have ruined the track, but uh, it sounded kind of cool because the whole robot theme and the yeah. dance sort of vibe and it was already a sort of gritty track. So I just sort of, you know, cranked, the, cranked some more distortion on it and it came out came out crazy so you made something work that could have been thrown out made work so perfectly exactly that's it you know what i mean it's, yeah. uh, it's one of those things that yeah. are you know there's luck there's all luck but. and what about when you laid down the beats did you have the artist in mind already yeah most of the time i um most of the time i have specifically made the tracks for the artists um I don't, actually i think i've made all the tracks specifically for the artists nice. It sort of worked out um, well too because a lot of the tracks I did ended up on the artist's album. Yeah. Um, like Draft, the three beats I did on his album, Brothers Grimm, were originally for my album. Mm -hmm. And so was um, Delta's track. But, um, you know, it sort of worked out because those tracks suited their albums. Yeah, and right. the ones that they, they did for my album, it, it ended up suiting my album in the direction I was trying to take. So All I'm right. sort of thankful they, they picked those beats. So. Cool. Mm. So you have the track. You have the artists, and what about lyrical content? Did you kind of push them in a certain area, a topic to talk about, or did you give um, them the track and let them run with whatever they're inspired by? Not really. I think there was like one or two um, tracks on the album where I had sort of input in the direction that lyrically it was going to yep. take. But most of the time, I sort of let the artist come up with something, and then I'd sort of jump in and say, "Okay, maybe we can do this," or. Cool. Maybe we should tidy this up or this and that. But I, I let I let the artists have a lot of like creative control lyrically. Um, nice. You know, it's not really my field, so uh, I was happy for them to take the reins on that. But even before this, you worked with so many artists. Like it is your debut album, but you've been around for a long time. <coughs> yeah. Who have you worked with? What have you done? Um, I work with a lot of people. Uh, you know, obviously a lot of people in Australia that you know most of them are on my album, but um, a lot of overseas artists as well um, yeah. like I've just started I just finished working on Farrah Mocha's album um, I've worked with Superstition uh, he's like a main guy that I used to work with um, you know guys so. get to it and if you haven't got the album do yourself a favor and grab it good gracious so get thanks it. for talking to us man no worries my pleasure thank you good luck tonight it. thank you very much what up family and crew this is your boy Mantra representing Melbourne but rocking in Sydney right now putting it down for hip hop TV boy That was awesome guys, we were just here at the Annandale Hotel watching M-Phase's CD launch. Make sure you stay tuned, we got horror show next week.